13 hours away till kickoff for your Steelers and the Jaguars getting to that game. It's going to be a lot tougher than usual. Maybe the Jags bus will get stuck. I don't know. Amy Wattis has more. We're above the stretch of 376, also known as the bathtub. And as you can see here, it is still flooded. This car is stuck in the water. Why PennDOT has this stretch of road closed off to traffic and why folks coming from the east will have to take a different route to the Steelers game tomorrow. Grounds crews at Heinz Field spent the day clearing snow off the streets and sidewalks to get ready for Steelers and Jaguars fans. But the big concern, how those fans will get there when several roads are shut down. The 10th Street Bypass is closed, the ramp from the Fort Duquesne Bridge to the Parkway East, and the bathtub area of the Parkway flooded. That's going to cause uh, probably some inconveniences for everybody going to the Steelers game from that direction. PennDOT officials say it's hard to determine when these sections of road will reopen to traffic. The river level is over the flood walls at this time, so until it goes below the flood walls, we can't even start the cleanup process. Police officers with the city were out today directing traffic. We will likely see that again before tomorrow's game. The city says the streets are in good shape for the most part, but one thing football fans need to watch out for. That's barricaded off. Uh, the North Shore Riverfront Park from uh, PNC Park all the way out to the uh, Carnegie Science Center. The ice even knocked over a light pole and stopped this guy from riding his bike through the park tonight. I've been biking around, checking out what's going on. There's not many, many trails open because they're all underwater. As for public transportation, the ramp leading to the Gateway Clipper is flooded and no boats will be headed out from here on Sunday. Really come up with a secondary or even third option just in case some of the heavier modes of transportation, the public transportation like the Gateway Clipper or the T, they could face some delays. And make sure you give yourself some extra time because of the traffic on the road and uh, several road closures throughout the city. Reporting downtown, Amy Wattis, KDKA TV News.